Welcome back to another episode of Void City Customs. I am Dan, and today I'm going to show you a quick little kit bash I made for a McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse classic comic book version of Superman. Now, this figure is very similar to the Action Comics 1000 Superman that McFarlane Toys already released a long time ago. Um, that one is a little bit harder to get now, but I used pieces from that and pieces from a few other Superman figures that are out there right now to sort of piece this one together. It required very little paint at all, only one little part actually. And other than that, it was basically a straight up kit bash. There's only a little bit of modification you have to do. And then you get a pretty cool looking Superman that, in my opinion at least, proportion wise, looks a little bit better than the Action Comics version, which is a little bit skinny. and. I think it just looks a little bit better as far as the suit having a bigger emblem than the Rebirth Superman has and the longer cape as well. Not the shorter triangle cape like New 52 Superman has but that they also have on Rebirth Superman here. So I'll show you this guy, how I made him, and then I'll also show you the figures that are out right now that he compares to so you can kind of see what he looks like next to some of the other Supermans. So let's take a look. All right, so here are the three figures that went into making my Superman kit bash on the end on the far right over here. So these are the three that went into making it. You've got Action Comics 1000 Superman over here. You've got Infected Superman over here. And you've got Rebirth Superman right here. Now these figures combined will give you Captain Planet. Wait, no, they give you this Superman right here. Now, right off the bat, I should say that you could use either one of these heads, Rebirth or Action Comics, for this right here. It is the same head. Uh, I've had this debated against me on Facebook sometimes in some McFarlane groups, and I've given actual photographic evidence, and there are people that just refuse to believe that a paint job can change the appearance of a sculpt that much, but it really can. And this is the evidence right there. That's the same head. It's just painted different. So you can use either one. I chose to use the Rebirth head. I kind of like how it looks a little bit more than the original one, which is just a little bit more plain to me. So that's the head I went with for my Superman here. Now, for the body, you guys might recognize a little bit of what I did here actually from my new 52 Superman video, which I'll throw a link to right up there. And basically, in that one, I combined a few different Superman bodies to make one that I thought proportionally looked the most like how I thought comic book Superman should look, at least for my new 52 figure. Well, I did the same thing here and did basically the same body combination. So what you've got here is the torso piece, this part right here. This is the torso from Action Comics Superman. So it's this torso emblem, the top chest part basically, and the cape. So that's all where that comes from. The midsection right here, the abs, that actually still comes from Rebirth Superman. So that's the same one there. So it's a bit wider than the original Action Comics chest and has a bit different detail with the, the wrinkles of the suit over the abs, rather than just being like straight up ab shaped with the little lines and the piping on the side and the back. So those kind of go together, but the lines do still match up with like piping and whatnot. So it still looks fine. And the color actually matches up really well too. So just like with the new 52 Superman, you don't really have to paint hardly anything at all on this unless you really want to. For the trunks, I used the trunks from Infected Superman. The reason I did that is because they're the red trunks with the belt and they are the same size as the Rebirth body because it's the same body, just with a different waist or diaper piece as some people call them. So. I used that one because this one's just a little bit too small. It makes them look kind of strange having a really itty bitty waist and then a bit thicker of a body. So again, I use this one and I'm not going to paint it to make it more of a bright red because I actually kind of like it being the more burgundy colored trunks, kind of like how this suit was colored in the Superman Returns movie. Now I thought the cape in that movie was maybe just a little bit dark and I really hated the material it was made out of because it just seemed like it was like this rubber 
almost like a shower curtain or something. I don't know. It just it had a very strange. It draped oddly, and it just looked very weird. And I just I would have made it a bit brighter and added a bit different of a color. But I did like that darker color for the trunks at the very least. I thought that looked a little bit better than having everything so bright and primary colored. Anyway, so that's where the trunks came from, and they're going to stay that way. I think they look fine. The legs and the arms both come from Rebirth Superman. Same with the hands. So arms, hands, legs. All those are from Rebirth and just stuck onto here. Now Rebirth has these really dumb blue boots. I despise this design for these blue boots alone. They could have changed anything else as long as this had been red and I probably would have liked it. But making these all blue with just this one little line not only in the comics did it look really dumb, but on this figure, he didn't re-sculpt the legs. So it still has the sculpt for how the boots are on most Superman designs. But then the line is just painted on and it, it doesn't even follow the actual sculpt of the figure. So it's just, it seems kind of lazy, a lazy repaint to me. I don't like it at all. So I actually sanded off the red on his knees or like the top of his shins here for right there. And I painted the boots, the top of the boots here. That's all I did. I just painted that little part. That's the only part I painted to make it red. For that, I used the same paints I always use. My, use my AV paints right there. And I used blood red or bloody red. And then also flat red. And I used three drops of each. So basically three drops one, three drops one. Mixed it around till it was completely blended together and painted in order to seal this up then in order to also kind of smooth out and fix where i had sanded off the red uh toast actually showed me this trick uh, i ordered some nail polish off of amazon i got two different kinds i got matte finish and i got gloss finish so depending on what kind of finish i'm going for this will protect the paint once it's on there especially if it's in an area where it could be rubbed off easily and it will keep your paint on there. So it's a really nice way to seal in the paint on there and keep it where it is. So I used this right here, this uh, Sally Hansen matte top coat and painted that on there. So now his boots are all finished. In order to get the feet that are red and the ankles that are red, I just stole those guys from Action Comics right over here. Just switched them right out. It was a straight back and forth switch. Worked just fine. The only other real change I had to do was inside of the torso here. It doesn't quite fit together because the abs are for a bit bigger of a piece than this torso is. So I did have to shave out a little bit of the top of the abs part to fit them in there, but it's hidden by the bottom of the chest here. So you can't even see it. And then they fit together and they lock in place. And I believe someone asked me that about the new 52 Superman figure a while back as well. I don't remember doing it with the new 52 figure and because it was put together before I did the video, I didn't take it apart. So I may have just straight up forgotten that. That is something you probably will have to do if you're marrying these two pieces together, the abs from Rebirth and the chest from Action Comics. You will have to shave off the top of the abs a little bit around where the female place for uh, the peg to go in is just so that it will fit up in there and it'll have room to articulate still. But it is locked in there, it is jointed in, it is all good. So there you have it. That's basically it right there. That's, that's all you really had to do. All the parts switch out very evenly. It works out just, just fine. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Action Comics 1000 and my Kit Bash Custom Superman right here. Just so you can kind of see a little bit of the differences in the proportion and a little bit of the difference in how the costume looks as far as the abs and the difference in the trunks, a little bit of the difference slightly in the boots and just the proportions of the legs with the different piping on there and the arms as well with the slightly different patterns and also different elbow joints. So that's another thing I should point out. Action Comics Superman had single joint elbows, a lot like the original White Knight Batman figure as well. They have single joint elbows, so they're not as articulated as the Rebirth Superman figure. So that's another good reason to switch that out and give him the different arms, is that now he's got more articulation with the double jointed elbows. 
and his hands are a little bit bigger, and he has two fists, so that's also good. So there you have it. That is my newest Kit Bash Superman figure. It made me remember a couple of things that went into making the new 52 Superman, and it also got me prepared for the completion of that figure once I get all moved and get everything reset up again. Speaking of which, that is still very much underway. I kind of snuck this video in under the radar there while I was getting ready to pack up everything here in the old studio. So I will also be filming a video about that and giving you kind of a quick tour of how things were set up here. I may blur out a couple of my custom figures just because I haven't shown them to you guys yet. I don't want you to see them too early, but who knows, maybe I'll keep them up there and just show them really quickly so you guys get a brief preview. But you'll kind of get to see some of my wrestling figure collection, at least the ones I have opened and displayed so far and a bunch of the spawn figures I've got in my display case, both new and retro. A bunch of my other figures like my Metallica figures and all the newest spawn figures and some of my other customs and some of my nicer McFarlane figures that I really like. Yeah, so that's kind of depressing, kind of sad for me at least, but at least maybe it's a new video that you guys can enjoy. And it means I get to set up somewhere new and do something different and uh, start again. So, you know, it's glass half full and see what happens and where we end up. Until then, you know, keep customizing and I will keep doing the same. I still got all mine ready to go. So anyways, thanks a lot, citizens of Void City. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for checking out my custom work here. And as always, like and subscribe. Keep it with us. And if you guys have any comments or things you want to ask, just let us know. If there are any customs you'd like to see or have questions about, also let us know. Toast, I know, is still working on some of his own, so we should see some more from him soon as well. And until then, I am Dan. This is Void City Customs, and I will see you next time.